I always love getting in adventures, you know. It's what I want to do. I don't want to go to Olympic Studios in London, stay there for six months and make night at the opera. I, you know, it's not in me. I'm not that kind of musician. I want to capture moments. I want to capture vibes. Uh, you know, and sort of be in the moment and try and capture that by doing all the things that I do in my life that make me feel that way, which is motorcycling, traveling, and music. So how long uh, has this play, you know, has been rock been up and running? Yeah, well, we bought the property 15 years ago, and we put the grapes in first. There was no grapes, no vineyards on the property. Okay. So we put in the vineyard, and uh, we've pretty much done everything on, on our own. I mean, I, won't, I had to go back to school to learn how to do some of the things that we're doing with, with the vineyard. And then later, when we decided to have our own winery, a lot of people that have small vineyards will go someplace else to do what they call custom crush, to make their wines in another operation and another facility. And we decided the way we were going to make our wine, we needed to do it on our own because of some of the ideas and some of the little uh, nuances that we put into the winemaking. It was quite a brave decision to, in a 15 year period, plant, build, get the cave and to be blending and making your own signature wines and it's, doing it all in house. It's yeah, and it's a long-term commitment too because yeah. it doesn't happen overnight. So it was like four years before we had our first vintage. Yeah. And then for the Cabernets, we age them in barrels for two years and then bottle age them for a year. So there's a seven year span from starting and getting the first bottle on the market, so to speak. So, so it's, it's a big front end investment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit like making a record these days. And, but we've done everything ourselves. We've dug the cave, and it's, we've really been happy to be able to have total control over how we're making the wine, and we wouldn't have if we're using another winery for our production. So. Well, it must and, have a lot to do with how satisfied you feel with your product. Yeah, you oh yeah. Day. Yeah, I mean, it was all about quality, not quantity kind of approach to everything. And mostly because we want to do it ourselves. Kiki's, you know, she's the artist and the muse of everything we've done, and even from naming the wine, and winery Vin Rock, and that's actually French for rock wine, but the whole idea was tying in with the rock of the cave, all the rocks down in the vineyard we had to move, and a little of it was the idea of uh, a, a little bit of a tie-in, tongue-in-cheek with rock and roll, too. Yeah. So there was a lot, of, be lot a of rock little, going on. There's got to be a bit of rock and roll in everything. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And so, we kind of compare with the winemaking. It's very, with the nature, it's very Tao, mm -hmm. uh, very present. It's like a wine, once you drink it, it's gone. It's almost a bit like Tibetan sand painting. It's like you craft it, you craft it, and then, then when you see it and you blow it out. And so wine is a little bit like that because it takes years to craft it and it's really about sharing. And in a matter of moments, and it's, it's gone. And you share it right. it's gone. So that's very much how we embrace it. almost the biggest adventure is arriving somewhere. You know, you feel part of the journey. And uh, I think the same thing is true of music. Will I wake up in my clothes? I 
grab my suitcase and my coat And I close the door quietly as I leave I walk out through the whispering seas and the falling leaves I just want to leave last night's clothes behind There is an easy disconnect in this day and age in any day and age, I guess, in between the technology you use and the environment you're in. I spend a lot of time flying around the world. You wake up, you know, it's that classic musician thing. People are like, uh, I don't remember where I was last night. Or I woke up and I was in Denver. And you're like, well, that's all cool. And I, you know, I've been there, but I feel more grounded and I feel better. I feel more creative when I have that sense of movement to digest the landscape that's going on around me. Tell you where I'm going Tell you where I'm going When I get there When I get there Well, I'm back another round It's another nameless bar in another nameless town There's not a single face that I know So I see this one's for the road Yeah, I said this one's for the road Tell you where I'm going I Tell you where I'm going I Tell you where I'm going When I get there When I get there When I get there